Hello and welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Today's reading, titled The Reason for Writing, was written by John Blaze. The Lord is my high tower. We left the camp singing. On September 7th, 1943, Eddie Hillisom wrote those words on a postcard and threw it from a train. Those were the final recorded words we would hear from her. On November 30, 1943, she was murdered at Auschwitz. Later, Hillisum's diaries of her experiences in a concentration camp were translated and published. They chronicled her perspectives on the horrors of Nazi occupation, along with the beauty of God's world. Her diaries have been translated into 67 languages, a gift to all who would read and believe the good as well as the bad. The Apostle John didn't sidestep the harsh realities of Jesus' life on earth. He wrote of both the good Jesus did and the challenges he faced. The final words from his gospel give insight into the purpose behind the book that bears his name. Jesus performed many other signs which are not recorded by John. But these, he says, were written that you may believe. John's diary ends on the note of triumph. Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. The gift of those gospel words allows us the opportunity to believe and have life in His name. The Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, are diary accounts of God's love for us. They're words to read and believe and share, for they lead us to life. They lead us to Christ. Now let's turn our attention to one of the gospel accounts of the life of Jesus. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is taken from the book of John, chapter 20, verses 24 through 31. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing, you may have life in His name. Now let's go to Him in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, Your Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our paths. We pray that through your Holy Spirit, the scriptures will change us and give us wisdom and hope. May we be a testimony to others that they may believe and have new life in you as well. Thank you, Lord. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.